Hello once again from Make Use Of. My name's Tim Brooks, and today I'll be looking at three of the best gamepads available for iOS. The Game Vice for iPhone, the PXN Speedy, and the SteelSeries Nimbus. Each of these controllers use Apple's extended layout, and feature two analog sticks, a D-pad, four shoulder buttons, and four face buttons. This isn't the only way Apple lets third-party manufacturers produce iOS-approved controllers, but it's definitely the most popular. For iPhone gamers, the $99 GameVice offers something special that's highly tailored to the small screen. This controller has been designed solely for use with the iPhone, and features no compatibility whatsoever with the iPad or Apple TV. It basically doesn't use Bluetooth. It's even too big for an iPod Touch. The controller is split into two parts, each of which grips your iPhone 6, 6S, or plus size device, and locks it in place. This effectively turns your iPhone into something that looks and feels a bit like the PlayStation Vita or PSP. It comes with a modest battery inside, and though you can't solely use the game vice to charge your iPhone, pass-through charging is available via the micro USB port. The controller's small plastic analog sticks aren't great, but they're not terrible either. It's surely a matter of personal preference whether or not you'll get on with them, and after a short adjustment period, I found them to be fairly accurate, if a little disappointing. There's not a lot of travel, and I prefer rubber sticks, but they perform better than I thought they would when I first opened the box. The Game Vice uses a plus-shaped Nintendo-style D-pad, and it's as good as the pad found on many console controllers. The face buttons are small, but just about big enough given the size of the pad, and they haven't given me any issues yet. There's a distinct lack of analog trigger input, but the two shoulder buttons are easy to reach whether you're using the analog sticks, D-pad, or face buttons. Despite a somewhat cramped interface, the game vice feels pretty good in the hand, if a little cheap. There's something special about having your iPhone mounted in the centre of the controller, and it definitely makes interacting with touchscreen elements pretty easy. The PXN Speedy takes the form of a traditional Xbox 360-style controller, and offers a compelling solution to a gamer looking for a jack-of-all-trades. The controller is designed for use with the iPhone, iPad, and iPad Mini, but also works with your Apple TV over Bluetooth. One key difference between this and the Game Vice is that the iPhone clips onto the Speedy using a removable grip. Though the list price is $120, the Speedy can be had for $50 on Amazon right now. The controller features comfortable rubber analog sticks that offer a high degree of sensitivity. They feel better than the plastic ones found on the Game Vice, but they're also a bit all or nothing and offer far more resistance than I'm used to from the likes of Xbox or PS4 controllers. This might be something you adjust to over time, but it does take some getting used to. It's not an issue on RPGs or arcade games, but I found driving in GTA 3 to be a bit hit and miss. The D-pad on this thing is incredibly accurate, and though it doesn't use a plus shape, it's easy to hit all eight directions with minimal pressure. The face buttons are just like those found on Microsoft controllers, a little bit squishy but perfectly sized and spaced. The triggers are fully analog and offer the perfect amount of resistance. The overall feel of the controller is excellent. It's weighty, solid, and well built. The SteelSeries Nimbus is the successor to the company's Stratus and Stratus XL, and it's definitely a winner. I'd say it's probably the best of the bunch here, with one drawback. The Nimbus has been designed specifically for use with the iPad and Apple TV, and features no way of holding your iPhone. You can, however, invest $10 in Nikko's Xbox One clip and mount your smartphone on it. That takes a total cost of $60, because the Nimbus is currently selling for $50 in the Apple Store. For me, the Nimbus provides the best analog sticks of the bunch. There's the perfect amount of resistance, and I'm more of a fan of the PS4 style layout than the Xbox layout found on the Speedy. While the D-pad is good, it's not the best I've ever used. The plus shape makes hitting up, down, left, right easy, but things start to get a little mushier when you aim for a diagonal. Just like the Speedy, the face buttons are near perfect with adequate spacing and a perfect feel. There's true analog sticks with a good amount of resistance and larger than most bumper buttons, which make the controller comfortable regardless of hand size. While the controller isn't as weighty or as solid feeling as the Speedy, it still feels like a quality controller in the hand. The SteelSeries uses Bluetooth 4, which squeezes 40 hours of playtime out of a single charge, and charging is done via a standard Apple Lightning cable. This is convenient if you're always carrying one in your bag, but it would have been nice if SteelSeries had bundled one in the box. The controller also works as a Mac gamepad, and it's the only one of the bunch which offers this functionality. Each of these controllers offer a unique selling point, but the clear winner for me is the Steel Series. If you invest an extra $10, it's even suitable for use with an iPhone, and considering the build quality, offers excellent value for money. If you're after a true handheld console experience, then you might want to give the Game Vice a look. Though disappointing in some aspects, it's a neat concept, and probably the most portable of the bunch. iPad gamers might want to look at the Game Vice for iPad, which features a less cramped layout and better analog sticks. The PXN is a solid controller, and if you're hellbent on the Xbox layout, then it's probably your best choice. Personally, I found the sticks to be a little too heavy, but I loved everything else about it. These are by no means the only iOS gaming controllers, but they're definitely three of the best. 
To read our full review and be in with a chance of winning these accessories, head to makeuseof.com.